All right, this is how it works for Luxago Elliott Wave, putting it all together. We talked about the Elliott Wave. We talked about the correction wave. So the way that this works out on a bigger scheme of things is that the Lux Algo is going to act as a added layer of support as well as confirmation for the trade. So as you know, Lux Algo gives out those entry signals or more so trend continuation signals. And when you have them set up with other levels of confluence, you can actually use those trend signals as entry signals or confirmations. This is how you do it. So with the Lux Algo Elliott wave, you want to trade with the two point and the four point when you're doing uptrends. That's what you want to look for. Or if you're able to notice a corrective wave, if you're looking to find a trend continuation move for the bigger play, then you can trade the C point of the Elliott wave correction wave. So that's how that will work. Now, Another way that you can do it is that the Lux Algo price action indicator will also give you the levels of higher highs and higher lows on top of the other aspects of price action concepts, which are institutional concepts. So if you're able to catch a move where you have a higher high formed, then there's a pullback and then a higher low formed, then all you can do is you can wait on the trend uh, confirmation with Lux Algo with the arrow. And when that comes up, you can use that as an entry signal for your trend continuation move. So you have your higher high, higher low, and an entry. And then you can literally keep playing off of that as you go. The other thing that you can do is that you can look for the order blocks. You know, order blocks are points in the market where the market likes to react from. So they usually have a pretty good reaction point. So order blocks are very good and very uh, well drawn out by the Lux Algo system. So you can use that as another point to get in at. So you can use, for example, you have an order block formed here. The C point also meets the order block. You can trade directly off of that order block because you know what's going on with the rest of the flow. Or you can see that as an added confirmation for when this arrow shows up to get into the trade. Now, what you can do is that you can get into the trade with Lux Algo. And then if you're trying to manage the trade, let's say you know, the arrow closes right in this level, you can have a trade like this where you're literally looking for that next higher high to be formed or the arrow to show. So either one, you know, you're getting at least a two to one reward to risk because you're trading with the trend. And you're trading with levels of confirmation on multiple plots. And you don't have to think about it, mark it all up, because Lux Algo is going to give you this entire setup all by itself. And everything lines up. Like, I love how the markets, you know, really kind of align with each other. It's very beautiful. And I could show you something else that happens within Elliott Wave and market structure. But being able to place these type of trades, now, those are your up trades. Look at your down trades. That's going to be very powerful because now you have a way to follow a system. You have a system. You don't have to mark up anything. That's what I love about Lux Algo. I used to spend countless hours just marking up charts. But Lux Algo, I don't have to make anything. I don't have to draw up anything. I can just let the system work, and I can work the system. That's what makes Lux Algo very good. But when you're doing your risk management, going back to that, you can take it until the air, a counter arrow shows up. Now, when you're doing that, you're basically writing the strategy and letting Lux Algo tell you when, it, when to get out. There's also something else that happens where you have like a an X that'll show up with Lux Algo. It's usually, I think it's usually blue, if I'm not mistaken. It's a blue X that will show up at the tops of moves. So you can get out when that X shows up because that X just gives you an indication that there's probably going to be a momentum swing to start going the other way. 
And you can literally use that as your take profit when that shows up. You can even get alerts on that. But that's how things line up. So everything lines up. It's really easy to use. And you have it to where you can easily on your trades, manage your trades, and get out of your trades with good risk management. Now, different things line up in the market. And once you really start to get a full picture of how this works out, so you have your Elliott wave here. You no, know, we already talked about the Elliott wave. Do you have your corrective wave here? And it can, it can continue or it can stop. So you have one more continuation of an Elliott wave. And then the reversal starts to happen. You get that that double uh, equal high or that equal high right here. And then you start to get the breaks of structures, the change of characters, everything that the Lux algo algorithm will point out to you. And then you know that the trend has changed and you can take your sell moves. A lot of things line up in the market. The first thing is that a lot of times on corrective waves, harmonic patterns will show up. Now, you may not be a harmonic patterns trader, but if you are, you can understand that you can understand where to look for harmonic patterns in the market. And even Luxalgo has a harmonic pattern uh, indicator. But you can use those indicators or use that pattern as another form of confirmation. Something else happens when you when the markets, like in this area, when the market starts to switch um, trend for the long term. So you have this form. And, you know, for most newer traders, they don't see this just off of noticing it, just from looking at it. But when you see this start to happen, see those, it doesn't have to be an equal high for it, for a trend to change. But a lot of times it will be, or just a, a M pattern, because you also can see that M pattern there. A lot of people teach those M's and W's. You can also notice that there is a double top. So a lot of people trade double tops. So, you know, you have something like this where the double tops come in. And you can trade off of that. But Luxago is going to give you all these different aspects of trading. Now, you get that equal high, you could expect that to be a double top. You get the change of change of character, you know, most likely a head and shoulders has formed up. So that's what makes it very powerful. So all these different aspects of trading, you know, I can even go into where you get the flags and the wedges appearing on the ends of pullbacks. But everything lines up. So I'm going to show you a few examples on the charts, exactly how it works out. and. That way, you'll know exactly what to do when you see it in the live chart. So let's go right to it. So it looks a little bit different. Uh, I like doing the diagrams because it makes it simpler. So when I show you this side of it, you understand where everything is coming from. So as you can see right here, it's going to give you those higher highs and lower, lower highs and lower lows, all those different points in the market. And all you have to do is follow when the market sets up. So when you want your chart to look like this, this is what you're going to do. So the first thing you'll need is the Lux Algo price action concepts. You can get that just like any other indicator. You can type in Lux, go to go to your invite only. You can choose that right there. Lux Algo signals overlay. I'm not going to click it again because I don't want it to reload. Once it loads up, you would just go to the settings and that's price action concepts go to the settings and you would see that i changed the signal sensitivity to eight but this strategy eight works perfectly for the lux algo signals and overlays for signal sensitivity you wouldn't really need anything else here you know a lot of times they'll have like the smart trail and things like that only thing i really keep in contact with is the dashboard so that's set up perfectly now the second thing is 
Luxago price action concepts. And I want you know, to make sure that you have it set up correctly. So you see here that you have your equal highs, equal lows. No, it's showing the internals. I don't really do the swing order blocks. I only do the internal order blocks because it's going to show me the more relevant order blocks in that sphere of price action that, you know, is on the current market. Other thing that you want to do is you want to, you can do premium discount zones. You don't necessarily need it for this one. And that usually wraps up everything you need here. And with that, see, as long as you have your higher, your higher highs and higher lows, your strong, weak, higher lows here, it's going to show all this annotation here. And then the last thing you do is you're going to do Lux Algo Elliott Wave. So Lux Algo Elliott Wave, type in Lux Algo, one word. Make sure you type in one word. And you just start EL and it'll come right up, Lux Algo Elliott Wave. Now Lux Algo Elliott Wave, I like it because it doesn't, it doesn't really um, need any configuration. You can just let the default settings happen and it'll take care of that. So you can see those ones, twos, threes, four, five. You can see that it's showing you the counter moves. It's showing you the miniature moves within the major moves. So you can play off of that. There's a lot of different ways you can take it. It even gives you its own uh, take profit zones, but I, I follow the, the blue ones that you see here. A lot of times it'll show blue here and then red on the downturns, these smaller ones. Those, those are the ones that I like to follow. But going right into the strategy, you get your higher high, your higher low, just like we talked about in the diagram. And you can see your arrow. Arrow's here. You know, you would have taken that trade. That trade would have looked like this. You would have took it on the close of the candle that the arrow shows up on. You can put your stop loss at the last swing point, and you can go to either the next arrow down, but I like to follow the X's here. So you would have had an X right there, and that would have been a three to one reward to risk. You see that you also have another opportunity here. This would have been a, a minor move opportunity because it's playing off of the minor Elliott wave, but you still see that two point on the minor scale here because you want to trade your twos and fours on your Elliott wave. So you see the, the two point handle right here. You get that, that upward um, entry. And look how systematic this is. This is why I like this. And you can go to that same X or you can go to wherever you feel like. You see you have your change of character point here. You could you could go to that point, whatever you like. You know, there's different, different ways you can go about it. But as long as your stop loss is solidified and you have a good reason why that's your stop loss, there's a lot of different ways you can take your take profit. You can go into the arrow, the candlesticks change color. So if you would have done that, you know, it would have went to here. It would have been a three to one trade. So that's just one or two examples. But you can see that there's multiple, multiple examples here. Now, I like following the major white line, which is the major Elliott wave. And following the two and four points here, when I'm doing the red Elliott wave, I know that that could be more risky because those are the smaller points. Because as you can see here, you know, I know we just took a trade there. You can see here that it's giving you the upward arrow on a pullback. So you see you got this pullback here. This is mid counter move. So if you would have took a mid counter move trade continuation, that would have been highly a losing trade, highly chance of it losing. Because, see, look, here's the difference. This is a pullback Elliott wave. This is why the Elliott wave indicator is so great. This is a pullback Elliott wave. I took the on this trade, this was a minor move, but this is on the trend continuation leg of the Elliott wave. So I'm in the right position in the market to take buys versus this position, the trend continuation already finished. 
And this would be a premature move because the major white line didn't confirm the next low. So you would have, if you would have took these two trades, you would have lost because you would be going against the short-term downtrend. So you would have had it here. You would have took this trade. This trade would have been a winning trade. And then you would have noticed that this high is higher than this high. So now I'm going to pump the brakes on buys for a second because my Elliott wave is finished. My market structure is no longer giving me a series of higher highs and higher lows. So I'm going to pump the brakes. Maybe I take the next trade down if I'm being more ambitious and I follow the same pattern with it. But it's going to help you follow the markets following this scheme. And that's why I think this is the perfect Lux Algo price action concept strategy that you could find. So hopefully you like this video. Definitely like and subscribe. If you don't have access to Lux Algo, definitely get access. Look at this. This is definitely worth getting access to the Lux Algo premium indicator. And I'll see you at the next video.